In this video we will review the Internet Movie Database iOS app. Versions for Android and Windows Phone 7 are also available. On the home screen in the middle you find a panel with different options. The magnifying glass at the top left allows you to search for actors, TV shows, films and so on. Now back to the home screen. The home screen shows you the latest trailers. You can swipe between them and stay informed about upcoming movies. In the panel below you can see the icon movies. This section lists movies playing now near you as well as general movie news. The option show times shows movies playing near you too. If you click on this section you can specify the date and location to find screening times. On the bottom you can sort results according to movies or theaters. Coming soon shows you what movies are coming out next. Below that you find popular IMDb options such as Top 250, Movie Meter or US Box Office. Go back to the home screen and click on TV. This section lists the popular TV shows so that you know what shows are currently in. If you want you can swipe between them. You also can find the a TV news section. The last panel section is Celebs. This section shows you which stars are popular who is born today or the current star meter. Below short times you have your watch list. To fully use this section you need to sign in with your IMDb or Facebook account. Then you can create a watch list, rate and review movies, TV series and so on. The your history section is like a browser and lists your watched movies. The message boards is basically a form where you can find lists and recommendations. The notification sections allows you to activate push notifications for top news, new in theaters and so on. Below in the settings sections you can ch change the video quality for trailers, language and other options. In conclusion we really like the app. Regardless whether you want to know about the latest TV hit or find the screening, screening time for a movie, the IMDb app won't disappoint you. It's a great app for film buffs and allows you to keep in touch with your favorite movies and shows. The only thing that bug does is the overloaded interface with all the subsections. It's sometimes easy to get lost.